Today, let us learn multiplication of larger numbers. Let us multiply 53,21,462 by 38. We can divide the whole process into three steps. Step 1. Multiply 53,21,462 by the ones digit of the multiplier, that is 8. 2 into 8 is equal to 16. Now, 6 into 8 is equal to 48. Plus, the carried over 1 is equal to 49. Next, 4 into 8 is equal to 32 plus the carried over 4 is equal to 36. Now, 1 into 8 is equal to 8 plus the carried over 3 is equal to 11. 2 into 8 is equal to 16 plus the carried over 1 is equal to 17. 3 into 8 is equal to 24 plus the carried over 1 is equal to 25. And lastly, 5 into 8 is equal to 40 plus the carried over 2 is equal to 42. We will call 4 crore 25 lakh 71,696 as the first partial product. Step 2. Multiply 53 lakh 21,462 by the digit in the tens place of the multiplier. As the digit 3 is in the tens place, we are actually multiplying by 30. So, we write a 0 below the digit 6 of the first partial product. Next, 2 into 3 is equal to 6. Now, 6 into 3 is equal to 18. Then, 4 into 3 is equal to 12 plus the carried over 1 is equal to 13. Then, 1 into 3 is equal to 3 plus the carried over 1 is equal to 4. Then, 2 into 3 is equal to 6. Then, 3 into 3 is equal to 9. Then, 5 into 3 is equal to 15. So, we get 15 crore 96 lakh 43,860 as the second partial product. Step 3. Now add both the partial products obtained, that is, 4 crore 25 lakh 71,696 plus 15 crore 96 lakh 43,860 to get the answer which is equal to 20 crore 22 lakh 15,556. Let us solve one more example. Let us multiply 3,987 by 3,124. We can divide the whole process into five steps. As you know, we begin by multiplying 3,987 by the ones digit of the multiplier, that is 4. 7 into 4 is equal to 28. 8 into 4 is equal to 32. 
plus the carried over 2 is equal to 34. 9 into 4 is equal to 36 plus the carried over 3 is equal to 39. Now, 3 into 4 is equal to 12 plus the carried over 3 is equal to 15. We will call 15,948 as the first partial product. Step 2. Multiply 3,987 by the digit in the tens place of the multiplier. As the digit 2 is in the tens place, we are actually multiplying by 20. So, we write a zero below the digit 8 of the first partial product. Next, 7 into 2 is equal to 14. Now, 8 into 2 is equal to 16. Plus, the carried over 1 is equal to 17. Then, 9 into 2 is equal to 18. Plus, the carried over 1 is equal to 19. Then, 3 into 2 is equal to 6 plus the carried over 1 is equal to 7. So, we get 79,740 as the second partial product. Step 3. Multiply 3,987 by the digit in the hundredths place of the multiplier. As the digit 1 is in the hundredths place, we are actually multiplying by 100. So, we write zeros below both the digits 4 and 0 of the second partial product. Next, 7 into 1 is equal to 7. Now, 8 into 1 is equal to 8. Then, 9 into 1 is equal to 9. Then, 3 into 1 is equal to 3. So, we get 3,98,700 as the third partial product. Step 4. Multiply 3,987 by the digit in the thousands place of the multiplier. As the digit 3 is in the thousands place, we are actually multiplying by 3000. So, we write zeros below the digits 7, 0 and 0 of the third partial product. Next, 7 into 3 is equal to 21. Now, 8 into 3 is equal to 24 plus the carried over 2 is equal to 26. Then 9 into 3 is equal to 27 plus the carried over 2 is equal to 29. Then 3 into 3 is equal to 9 plus the carried over 2 is equal to 11. So, we get 1 crore 19 lakh 61,000 as the fourth partial product. Step 5. Now, add the four partial products obtained, that is, 15,948 plus 79,700 40 plus 398700 plus 1 crore 19 lakh 61000 to get the answer which is equal to 1 crore 24 lakh 55388 
Wasn't it easy learning multiplication of larger numbers?